Have you ever found yourself agreeing to something you didn't want to for some reason? Maybe it's because it's late and you don't want to argue. Or they've overwhelmed you with too much information and you just wanted to stop. Well, although you may not realize it, you may have been psychologically influenced to agree to such things. So, here are six psychological tricks to look out for. Have you ever thought about ways to improve your health, both mentally and physically? Today's video is sponsored by Noom. It's a great place where it's leveraging science and cognitive therapy to empower self-change. Watch this video till the end for more information. Now, let's start the video. Number one, they use your name often. Do they call out your name a lot? Usually, when someone uses your name, it's to get your attention. But you also have an unconscious bias towards other people calling your name. This is because it shows that they acknowledge your presence and it also implies a closeness between you. According to Dale Carnegie, author of How to Win Friends and Influence People, a person's name is, to him or her, the sweetest and most important sound in any language. Also, you may feel you need to listen to them more attentively if you don't remember their name in return. Number two, they make a request larger than intended, then get you to agree to one smaller. So, your buddy Billy comes knocking at your door at 2 a.m. You're tired, annoyed. An hour earlier, you stuffed down half a pepperoni pizza and a near gallon of ice cream watching The Real Housewives of New York City, and it didn't sit well with your tummy. He's asking for a lot of money, $300. What would you do? You'd deny it. But then, before you can slam the door in Billy's face, he asks for just a measly $30. $30 is $30, that's a different story. You mumble to yourself as you reach inside your wallet. Has anyone ever asked for a large sum of money and when you refused, asked for a smaller amount, which you paid? In psychology, this technique is called the door in the face technique, and it can be used in many situations. Someone simply requests a lot from you, and then when you say no, they simply lower the amount drastically so the new offer doesn't sound as bad as compared to the first initial offer. Number three, the science of smiling. Have you ever found yourself in a more positive mood when someone smiles at you? <sighs> Just like yawning, smiling can be contagious. When someone smiles at you, you're more likely to smile in return and find yourself in a lighter mood. This makes you more willing to please others and do favors and more susceptible to their influence and manipulations. <sighs> Number four, they ask for a favor when you're exhausted. Remember Billy, the one late at night knocking at your door asking for favors? Well, now not only does he want $300, but he also wants to move into your newly renovated guest room. Well, our friend Billy could be rather clever. He may have planned to ask you this specifically at 2 a.m. Turns out he's right for asking you late into the hours of the night. According to several studies, people are more likely to be influenced to do something they initially didn't want to when they're tired. This applies well with salespersons. For example, you've had a long day and the saleswoman keeps dragging you around the store, throwing a ton of clothes and information at you. It's the best deal in town. Limited time only, final few hours of our sale. You'd never get a deal like this again. All while bringing you dresses, jewelry, shoes, and nylons you didn't ask for. They may be trying to overwhelm you and exhaust you to the point that you do anything to get it to stop, including the things you said you'd never do. Number five, mirroring another's behavior and body language. Have you noticed that they're trying to copy your body language? Perhaps you've noticed that they've crossed their legs to mimic how you're sitting. Mirroring is when you mimic another person's gestures and expressions so they can relate and perceive you more like themselves. This tactic is a way to get you to subconsciously feel more calm and comfortable in their presence to gain your trust. And number six, they nod their head a lot. According to a 1980 study published in the Applied Psychology Journal, psychologists found that when others nod while listening to someone, they're more likely to agree with them. So when your friend Billy is nodding away, fascinated with your story about that time a wild hyena jumped in through the window at KFC and stole your potato salad, he could be manipulating you. He's hoping that in return, he may make you subconsciously want to nod in response, which means he may not be interested in the hyena or the potato salad. Hmm. Now, when it's his turn to talk, 
he may start to nod his head while talking, which may make you nod your head subconsciously, which keys him into the idea that his manipulation tactics are working, which may then make your nodding become a further subconscious signal to your brain, signifying to agree to what he's saying, which may make you agree to anything. Next, you're buying him chicken salad while he stays in the guest room for a couple of weeks, months, and he's $300 short on rent. Did you relate to any of the points in the video? What did you think of the animation? Let us know in the comments below. Before we wrap up this video, we wanna mention that we're happy to have Noom as a sponsor today. Noom isn't your typical weight loss program. Noom is different. Using psychology and habit change, Noom provides you with the tools you need to make healthier adjustments to your daily life. If your goal is to achieve a healthy weight based on your height, diet isn't the number one thing you should focus on. Sleep, exercise, and mental health need to be taken into account as well. Take the free online evaluation by clicking the link below. You'll get a custom program based on your goals. It'll give you a confidence boost and higher energy levels, and we promise that you won't be disappointed. All you need is five to 10 minutes using the program each day. And with consistent effort, you'll find that you have a new relationship with food. There's no restrictions when it comes to food. All foods are allowed on Noom in moderation. Check out Noom in the description box and start developing healthy habits and take control of your life again. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in our next video.